got um, x equals 26 minus 3y, and I always like to write these side by side. The other one is x minus 4y equals 5, okay? Right. So I'm guessing that, the, you see, when we solve by substitution, we can either use this guy, we can use this, we can use this or this. We have four options. Right. What we want to do is pick one that's on its own already, if possible. And you can see this X is all by itself. Okay. Yeah. So the easiest thing to do is use that. Did you try that? Yeah, I did. Okay. So, and then he gets plugged in here though, right? Because it's X is equal to this. And so this, this thing here is the same as X. So I can plug this in for X. Does that make sense? And then I've got this thing. Well, I was having a yeah, hard time figuring out what. Um, I can hear myself echoing. Anyway, um, which, I mean, with the equal sign, you know, X equals, I was confused if that was going to work. Or, anyway, just keep going. Right, 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 okay. Yeah, that, that will always work. You can either get X by itself or you can get Y by itself, whichever one you like. Okay. And it just happened to be that this, this happens to be the, e, the, the quickest thing to do because it's already on its own. Do you know? Right. And, and so, so in any case, we keep going. And on the left-hand side, I just have to solve this equation now, just like in Math 60. So on the left-hand okay. side, I have 26 and... Negative 3y minus 4y, is that negative 7y? Right? Yeah. Right, and then, you know, and then so, and then what would we do? We solve for y now, right? Okay. So just subtract 26, and, and you can write this down as we go along too, right? So positive 5 and negative 26. 5 good guys and 26 bad guys. That's a negative 21, right? And then just divide by negative 7 on both sides. And I have y is equal to 3. Right. So I've got that part. Am I done? No. Got it? So next, next step is what, do you think? I have to uh, figure out what that is. Right. Yeah, yeah. You could you could certainly do that. Yep. Yeah, you could go um using this equation here. Um go ahead. Yeah, you could Okay. So using this equation, I and I have y equals three, what do I do here now, do you think? Okay. I'd add 4y and 5. Well, hold on a second. If I have an equation and it has x and y in it, I cannot solve it. It's impossible. Do you know what I mean? Okay. You have The only time you can actually solve an equation is when you just have, say, here we just had y, and then we could find out what y was. But this doesn't help because I have x and y. So what, what do we think you should use the 3 somehow? Right, so we'll just go plug that in here, right? Okay, there you go. And then you can solve for x, right? All right, so you should have x17, y3. Of course, you can probably check check those at these too, I guess. So I think what I was getting confused with is that there's both x and y. And uh, I was getting confused with the equation. And so, I, was, I mean, substituting, I don't know, I just got really confused. 
Yeah, no, that's understandable. Yeah, it's just about about practice. Just about getting used to it, so. Okay, well, I, I think that was everything uh, as far as that section goes. All right. Sounds good. I mean, like, if, if you want to try, you know, say 27 is this, is, is almost this, exactly the same. 28 is, is, is the same as that. Is it goes like, uh, let me see. I did, I did number 23 fine. Yeah. Right. Well, 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 there's no point, you know, you might, at this point, you know, you could try, um, how about, should we try 26 and see if you can get that out? Because that's also an, an even number, and then, you know, I'll be able to, we'll make sure you can check that. So 26, you might start off with 4x minus 2y equals 20, and x equals 2 minus y. And just go ahead and, and uh, see how far you get. Right. You already have the this x by itself as it happens. Okay, so do I want to substitute that for the four x? Um and then do distribute it to the um yeah. two minus y. Uh let's see. Well um this this says x equals this, so this is the same as x. So in place of this x here, I can put two minus y. Because x is equal to 2 minus y, right? Right. So everything else is written out the same then, like that. Does that make... Is that what yeah, you said? That's, that's what I did, yeah. Right, good, good. There you go. Uh, okay. It should be eight eight minus six y. You got that? Because it's it, you've got negative 4y and then minus 2, yeah. so it's like in debt $4, then take 2 away, you're now in debt by $6, right? Right, yeah. All right. You got it. If you can do math under pressure like this, you can certainly do it by yourself, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. I, that's the hardest part about teaching for me. It's, uh, you know, everyone's looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm and sorry. I, I have a thing about my voice, too, like on answering machines and such, so I, I am a little nervous. <laughs> well, you're doing very well, considering. <laughs> And then I go over here. Um, to the X. Right. Y minus or equals two minus Y, right? Yeah, that would work. And plug it in. 
right? Correct. Good job. Because you're plugging in the negative 2 for the y. Right. So that makes two negatives there. So negative negative is plus plus, and we have x is 4. There you go. And then checking the answer. Like, if I was to check, um, you know, I've, I've just kind of used this equation, right? So this one is kind of checked already, but anyway, if I was to check it, I would I would plug x and y really into both equations. Uh, x is four, and y is negative two. So, but th this one is the most important one to check right here. But if I plug x and y into this one, it should all work out. Right. So like plugging in four and then negative two, that gives me sixteen. And here we have multiplication, so that would be a positive 4, right? Yeah. So this one, you know, worked. Both sides are the same. This, These values work in this equation, so this one works. And I, I've really already checked this one, because, look, I already plugged in negative 2, and that makes 4, and, you know. Or, I mean, you, you, could, you could if you want, just 4 equals 2 minus negative 2. 4 equals 4, so... So the answer is correct, right? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, I, I'll, I'll tell you what, just before you go, if you want to take the first step on 28, because they're just the very first step on 28, because that looks like it might cause problems. Um, okay. And I could, well, I'll, I'll just basically show it to you. X, negative X plus 2Y equals 7. And then X equals 3 plus 3y, right? Right, and so again, x is by itself again, isn't it? Does that make sense? This one? Yeah. Now, and so. Where am, am I going to plug this into the y here or into the x? The x, right? Right. And what am I going to do with the negative sign? Because the x go the x. This is three plus plus three y, isn't it? Yeah. And do I stick a negative sign here? Right. Right, and then just keep going. And then this negative distributes, so this actually becomes negative 3 minus 3y plus 2y equals 7, and so on and so forth. Okay, yeah, I, I get it now. Sure. Oh, good deal. Well, for some reason, I see two x's, you know, on uh, each equation, I was like, well, which one do I pick? Right, right, right. But now I see the x that equals whatever. Yeah, yeah. Right, because it's it's all by itself. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And so anyway, do you just want to take I mean that should be your answer there, so okay. Alright. Um Okay, here's an there's something I haven't ever done before. I was thinking of putting this recording on the website and labeling it as just like if we had a regular class you know, everyone would be there while we go over homework questions. I was going to put this on the website with these questions. Would, would that be okay? That'd be terrific, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Good deal. Okay, and, you know, I'll be here till um, 9 p.m., so feel free to stop by if you need any more help or whatever. Great, I will. Okay. <laughs> I hope it doesn't take that long. <laughs> okay, have a good night. Thank you.